Hey everyone, I'm out here today in front of one of my newer beds. It's a bed of some baby corn, some container corn, and I've just planted it for the second time. And so I'm working with you all today on answering the question, why are my seeds not coming up? Why did I plant them and then I planted them again and I'm still not getting them coming up through the ground? What am I doing wrong? So there's a few ways you wanna troubleshoot this issue. The first way is to look at the bed itself. So this is a new bed this year. And I noticed that the new soil that I put in doesn't tend to hold moisture as well as the soil I have in some of my other beds. So the first thing that I think is that maybe those little seeds, they started to grow, they started to come out, they started to germinate, and then they didn't have access to adequate moisture. So I mulched this bed very lightly over my seeds. You don't wanna to mulch too heavily. You wanna be sure they can pop up through there, but that's gonna help keep consistent moisture in our bed. The next one is soil temperature. So if you think of in terms of seasonal growth, you have your cool season vegetables, then you have your warm season vegetables. Right now we're approaching summer, so we're looking into our warm season vegetables. So you wanna be sure you're not planting one of your cool vegetable seeds. Reason being things like beets, carrots, onions, those all like cooler soil. Right now the soil temperature would be way too warm. So check your seasonality. Make sure that you're planting a warm weather seed in the correct season and a cool weather seed in the correct season. And then check your soil temperature. For springtime and summertime, most seeds are gonna to wanna to germinate at at least 65 degrees. It can be cooler than that for cool weather. So check, there are some local services that will do soil temperature in your area. You can also get a cheap thermometer. So that's the next thing that you wanna to start to check. Next, for my corn especially, I think of squirrels. And you'll notice that this bed is covered in a layer of mesh. Squirrels will eat certain types of seeds. So say sunflowers, corn, all of those seeds that people actually can eat and put into grains, all of those things that critters will eat. So I have this netted off to be sure that those squirrels aren't digging my seeds up. The next one is to consider, did I get a package of defective seeds? Did I have them too long? Are these seeds that I've stored for a number of years that could have been exposed to something like moisture, to improper temperatures, to sunlight? Start troubleshooting that way too. Maybe you got a pack of seeds that just wasn't going to come up in the first place. And then you can start thinking of alternatives. If you have a soil issue and you think that that might be to blame, get your soil tested. If you need to mulch or more consistent moisture, plan on adding some water to your bed every day, making sure that that's more consistent. There are lots of options. Make sure you're in season. Take all of those factors into consideration, re-sow at the proper time, and hopefully then your seeds will come up next time.